hey guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to talk about the specifications of iq z3 or iq z3 whatever you can call it but it's a really interesting phone below 20,000 and it's going to be a really interesting video and we are also going to tell you the best competitors of this phone so do watch the video till end and now let's start the video First let me tell you that this phone has been spotted in Indian BIS certification site so we can expect the Indian launch in maximum 2 months right now and we can expect the phone around May end or June okay because this is not launching along with the IQ7 lineup anyways this is a mid range segment phone not a budget flagship or a flagship killer phone but it's still a pretty good phone so first start with specifications the display if we talk about the display the display is of 6.58 inch full HD plus IPS LCD display yes this is an IPS display not a AMOLED display but it has higher refresh rate like a 120Hz refresh rate and 180Hz of touch sampling rate it also has HDR10 support it is covered by glass back and it has unspecified Gorilla Glass protection now let's talk about the processor it has Qualcomm Snapdragon 768G 5G and probably this might be the first phone in India to come with Snapdragon 768G if not the Mi 11 Lite 5G and this is a really interesting phone with the processor because under 20k most of the phones have nowadays maximum up to 730G or 732G and this phone will set a benchmark for the mid range performance now let's talk about the camera the phone the looks of this phone I'm showing in front of your screen it's a pretty beautiful phone and now let's talk about the camera it has 64 megapixel main camera Overall it's a triple camera setup but the main camera is of Samsung sensor, secondary camera is 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel depth. So 2 megapixel uses so basically you can see this is a dual camera setup but it's okay not too good not too bad the segment. This can record up to 1080p as well as 30fps videos and the surprising fact is that it has single speaker. I wish they gave the dual speakers right now but anyways it has 3.5mm jack. Let's talk about the selfie camera. It has a notch selfie camera this is a big down point of this phone according to me because this is the year of punch holes they should have given a punch hole selfie camera this time it has ufs 2.2 storage lpddr4x ram side mounted fingerprint scanner because it's not an AMOLED display it's a decent enough 4400 milliampere battery but the fast charging is good 55 watt of super fast charging and it has three colors black blue and silver it has two ram variants 6 gb ram and 8 gb ram and as a storage variants are 6 plus 128 8 plus 128 and 8 plus 256 gb however i do not think that 8 plus 256 gb variant will be launched in india only 6 plus 120 gb variant might be launched in india and now let's talk about the pricing the chinese pricing converted i'm telling you 6 gb ram plus 120 gb chinese pricing is around 19,000. 8 gb ram 120 gb chinese pricing is around 20,000. and the 8 gb ram 256 gb variant is around 22,000. and now if this comes in india and iq is generally more aggressive in india so we can expect 6 gb plus 120 gb around 17,000. 8 gb plus 120 gb around 18,000. so yes this was all about the iq z3 and now let's talk about the competitors I would say that Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, Realme 8 Pro 5G, these are the competitors of the IQ Z3, top most competitors I'm talking about but only down point of this phone is that FHD plus IPS LCD display. If this one was an average display there would be no competition to this phone because of the superb processor. Anyways, so this was all in this video so we hope you like this video and do like, share, subscribe and comment and we'll be back to the next video soon. So till then, bye and thanks for watching.